Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday 7, 2024. I hope we are in good spirit this morning and I pray that as we go throughout the day that we will go with the Lord and I pray that we will allow him to be our guide. May we look to him who is able to keep us. Amen. Our reading today comes to us from Revelation chapter 2, reading verse 18 to 29. And it says, And unto the angel of the church in Tyra, Tyra write, These things say the Son of God, who had his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins on hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Tyra Tyra, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depth of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already. Hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him I will give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my Father. And I will give him the morning star. He that had an hear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. Amen. What a word this morning. We give God thanks for his word of revelation unto us. And this passage of scripture this morning is a heavy one. It is full of instruction and reproof. And I pray that we would have gotten what the Lord is trying to say to us. We are on the fourth church of Revelation. Now Jesus addresses the church in Tyra Tyra, praising them for various positive attributes such as love, faith, service, perseverance, and growth in all these areas however he also went on to criticize them or to reprimand them rather for tolerating a woman that is referred to as Jezebel who is teaching and leading believers into practice of sexual immorality and idol worship and we know according to 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 Bible and the history of Jezebel that Jezebel the, 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 the name Jezebel basically represents idolatry and we know according to the Bible and spirit of prophecy that a woman here referred to the church the reference to Jezebel is symbolic right so it 
refers to an individual group that promotes false teaching and sinful behavior. So the name Jezebel invoke the infamous queen from the Old Testament known for her idolatry and her manipulation. Manipulating people to get what she want. That's who Jezebel is. She is relentless and she's just evil. Now the question I want to ask you is are there any particular group or people or institution that you would say fit the characteristics of Jezebel today? If so, just type it in the chat and explain why you come to that conclusion. So Jesus warned the church that if they do not repent and distance themselves from Jezebel's teaching, that they will face consequences. He also promised to judge both Jezebel and her followers. Now this serves as a reminder of the importance of discerning and rejecting false doctrine and immoral behavior within the church. Take note. So despite this warning, Jesus went on to encourage those in the church who remain faithful to continue holding on. Hold on to their faith until he returns. And he also promised them authority over the nation. So he promised them power. And indicating that those who remain steadfast in their commitment to him will be rewarded in his future kingdom or in his kingdom so when you look at the overall passage it it is really saying and highlighting the need for vigilance against false teaching and immoral influence within the church and even outside the church too so while it it, it warns against that it also emphasize the reward for those who remain faithful to Christ and so we need to be on guard we can't allow ourselves to be deceived by the teachings of Jezebel and how are we going to prevent ourselves from being deceived it's by studying and knowing the Word of God by staying close to Jesus. So we need to study the blueprint. We need to know what it means to be moral. We need to know what it means to live a spiritual guided life. We need to know what it means to be righteous, not in our own sight or in our own strength, but in the, the righteousness of Christ. And so by praying constantly and by spending time growing in our faith, we will be uh, strengthening ourselves with strength and power from his throne, from God himself. And so when the deception come, when Jezebel come with her teaching to go against what God say, we will know what to do and we will be able to stand against it and to say no. And remember, Jezebel, her mouth is very sweet and she can be very manipulative. So we need to be, we need to be careful or we allow ourselves to be influenced by the sweet words of Jezebel. If it is not thus said the Lord, we need to reject it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so, as I said earlier, this is a very compact passage, but I won't go so deep into it 
right i will leave the depth of the study up to your discretion and i pray that you will really follow up on it but the overall emphasis of the passage as i say is to remind us or to encourage us rather to keep away from false teaching keep away from false teaching so instead what we need to do is to practice those things which the passage first make reference to like love faith perseverance and all of those things the fruits of the spirit right develop the character of the spirit so that we can stand grounded in the word of god and even in the midst of error amen may god continue to guide and bless you and may he continue to protect you and protect your mind and my mind so that we will remain focused on him and him alone may god continue to bless you and keep you in jesus name amen